your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. As public school students return to the virtual learning platform today, some private institutions on Grand Bahama are following suit. In this report, the principal of the Bishop Michael Eldon School shares their plans for the new school year set to begin next week. Jamila Mizik reports. The new school year for students of Bishop Michael Eldon School will begin on September 6, that according to Principal Pro Tem Cheryl Wood. She says the school will return to the virtual learning platform in compliance with the Ministry of Education's recommendations. Wood noting that it may be a challenge for some parents, however they empathize with them. We have not gotten a whole lot from parents yet, but we know the challenges that are related to virtual learning, particularly for the working parent. But our objective, our primary objective is to keep families safe, to keep children, teachers and staff members safe. And I know that our parents will understand what it is we are trying to do. Now Wood admits there are challenges related to using an online platform as opposed to face-to-face -face instruction. The main challenge is for those younger students who really need somebody sitting with them. And I'm you know, talking about the three-year-olds, the four-year-olds, maybe up to about grade two, who really need um, somebody with them. And the challenge is really related to the working parent who may not have that time, even if they're working at home, sometimes it's a challenge for them to keep up with their um, early learner. So that's one of the challenges. We also had challenges related to those um, classes that have um, a coursework component attached to it. And I'm talking about classes like home economics where you actually have to cook. Sometimes it may not be a realistic thing to expect a, a child to cook in his or her kitchen when you really need the guidance of your home ec teacher. Science comes with coursework, so does geography and history. And then, you know, the PE teachers had found it where they had to be really creative. She says the school is doing its best to assist students as much as possible and will continue to assist those students who may need devices. We want students to continue to be engaged in learning while they are at home. And so if you don't have the tools at home, well then we have to do what must be done because we want to ensure that every child is, um, being, is current, um, is getting what is necessary for them to continue with their studies. And Wood notes that it is their desire to return to face-to-face -face learning. However, they will be guided by the advice of the Ministry of Education. Chumila Mizek, ZNS Network News. Well, it's back to school for children in the Northern Bahamas, and although it will be conducted virtually for some learning institutions, the Reach Out Youth Organization has not ceased in its efforts to ease the burden on parents. The organization has partnered with Alive to host a back-to-school giveaway over the weekend. President Dudley Sage says he is thankful to God for allowing him the opportunity to continuously be a blessing to the community. We had an opportunity today to give about 500 backpacks. We also did groceries for the first 300 persons. We did care, uh, uh, care packages for the kids, biscuits, juices for the kids. But today was an awesome experience. I know Ron uh, Bahamas going through a difficult time, but a lad called me about a week ago and said they want to partner along with me. And today we had an opportunity to bless a lot of families. Cars were parked here from Friday at 5 p.m. So I can tell you the needs that the folks have here on the island. There's a lot of families, you know, finding the difficulties right now uh, to put food on the table. So we just didn't want to do a back-to-school giveaway. We want to give them supplies and also give them grocery items uh, for their family to bring some relief. Alive's mobile sales manager, Wanda Strawn, says they were happy to partner with the Reach Out Youth Organization for the giveaway. We are excited for what we saw here today. As you can see, it's already finished and we were supposed to end at 12, but because of the enormous amount of cars that came with children looking for books, looking for snacks, and, and we were just, we're just so excited to be able to bless so many families. Um, and we hope that going forward, Alive, uh, as, as well as Rev, would be able to step in and, and help make a difference in the lives of our Bahamian children.
The Falcons Boys Club helping to make back to school preparations a bit easier for four young men are part of the mentorship program. Director Darren Roll says that the donation to the young men is in honor of longtime partner and activist, the late Kendall KCX Colbrook. Colbrook's sister on hand for the donation of uniform funds. KC was a motivator. He was a freedom fighter. He was someone that got involved in the community after he found a cause and took the opportunity to be able to do so. So these four young men who are going to get these uniforms this afternoon, these are young men who have been a part of the Falcons Boys Club who have been coming out with the various functions that we do here at the Champs Community Center. And the Falcons Boys Club is in partnership with Champs Missions out of the United States of America. I am truly thankful that Casey Colebrook took time out of his financial resources and took time out of his motivational opportunity to be able to encourage the Falcons Boys Club. I can see myself right here, right now, when we are about to paint inside this building. Casey came, uh, came by when he came to Grand Bahama and spent about an hour and a half here with me at this community center. So this afternoon, these four young men who are benefiting, they're benefiting in the memory of Kendall Casey Colebrook. Um glad and I appreciate what everybody has done and I'm here to just to give out and be the support of the Colbrook family to these young men today. Now the donation was made in partnership with many businesses throughout the community. Roll says he is thankful for the continued partnerships that make these initiatives possible. Two of the young men present express their gratitude. Thank you for the uniform that I've been given today, and thank you for in memory of Kendall Cobra. Thank you for the uniform and in memory of in memory of Kendall Cobra. And don't go away. Our Facebook friend of the day still to come.